Welcome back. A lot of you have been wondering if you'll need to get a COVID-19 booster shot or if this vaccine will be one we get every year like the flu shot. Phase one trials from the vaccine started over a year ago, so can we look at those to figure it out? WCNC Charlotte's Vanessa Rufus verifies for us tonight. Both Moderna and Pfizer have come out saying that their vaccine immunity lasts for at least six months after a second dose, and this comes from data from phase three clinical trials. But one viewer reached out to us asking if researchers could look farther back at data from phase one in order to determine if immunity lasts even longer. Let's verify. Our sources are medical director for Mecklenburg County Public Health, Dr. Meg Sullivan, and Dr. Ryan Shelton, who headed up the Moderna trials for Tryon Medical Partners. Dr. Shelton says phase one trials don't have enough enrollees to be conclusive, but all trial participants are being monitored for the amount of immune protection they have. Dr. Sullivan adds that it's not scientifically sound to look at that older data. You know, and I think the way that clinical trials are designed, they're designed with very rigid requirements that you have to follow. Um, and so that's that's how a phase three clinical trial is really designed to see that long term follow up. The phase one really is to look, you know, just immediately at immunogenicity, right? Is there any level of response, right? And then looking at safety, but it's a very small trial and it's really designed to look at different endpoints than that phase three clinical trial. And so that's why the majority of our data comes from there. Now, under normal circumstances, the phase three trial would have continued for another few years before the vaccine went out to the general public. However, because of the severity of the pandemic, Dr. Shelton says the red tape was removed, but assured us that no steps were skipped. So for now, patience is key. As we get further removed from the start of phase three trials, we'll be able to get a better picture of how long immunity really lasts. But for now, we can verify researchers can't look back at phase one trial data to determine immunity length. With your Verify, I'm Vanessa Rufus. And if you have something you want us to verify, send us an email at verify at wcnc.com.